Hello and welcome back. It's Podgy back with his preparing for FIFA 23 little mini series. It's now on the 20th of August and this is my little game, the indefatigable Lionesses Triumphant of the Women's Euro Tournament to play Canada. Yeah, lots of stuff to tell you about about the upcoming FIFA 23, especially the fact that it's coming to PC and next gen mode. But here we are at Wembley. Derek Ray and Stuart Robson are not going to be commentating. I'm doing it all myself because I've turned down the commentary in the game. Here's the national anthems. Some of the paces aren't too good. Helen White's pretty good. The others you can see, Georgia Stanway looks okay. Not Walsh does it. Greenwood. Millie Bright's got the hair, but little else. Here's the Canada team. Don't know much about them. Don't know if they look anything like the, Can the Canadian counterparts, but only Canadian fans will be able to tell me in the comments if they are in fact representative of the team. And here's the lineup. We've got uh, Mary Earps, Lucy Bronze, Willie Bright, Greenwood, Rachel Daly, Williamson Walsh, Stanway Mead, White and Hemp up front there. And we're playing 4-3-3. Podgy the Bear will be playing as England at world world class difficulty. There's the Canadian starting eleven. They're playing a 4-3-3 as well, so it's pretty much head-to-head -head here. And there we are. Here's the kickoff. Leah Williamson out to the right here. Beth Mead. Over on the left wing there to Lauren Hemp. Back to Daly. Who turns the ball to her. Walsh. Oh, who's usually very good at uh, her distribution, but not that time. Bit of skill being shown by the Canadian players on the world-class difficulty here. Oh, oh, if they've got the better of Lucy Bronze there. Stork Jaws and just Stanway brings it forward. Ellen White out to the wing. Hemp's going into the corner, I think. Expecting a good cross from her. Here's a good cross, and. Sheridan, the Canadian goalie, takes that comfortably for kicking it out. I think England just need to settle down here. Williamson gives it to Lucy Bronze. It's forward. Beth Mead's got it. Stanway's coming in the middle. Now, oh, defeated by the Canadian defence there. Sinclair brings it forward. Oh. So she's seen a brilliant pass there over on the right to Becky. Oh, will Millie oh, back heel? Oh, onto the post. Cleared by Stanley. Can we get a counter track going here? No, not with passing like that. Canada very much looking a threat here. I think these both these teams are dear. Is it? Whoa, stopped by Rachel Daly there. That was good. Both these teams are of equal skill. At least in FIFA 22 they are here, which we're playing on PC. With an Xbox controller, of course. Oh dear. This looks dangerous. Oh no! Oh! Greenwood makes the tackle. Good body swerve there from Leah Williamson. Oh! Stanway has stood another there on the wing. Got past her marker there. Here comes Ellen White, real who lead her in the middle. But she's bringing it back to Daly. Oh, good defence there by, by the centre back there. Oh, Becky's oh, almost got the ball there, but Millie Bright's sweeping up here. A few little skill touches there. Back to Lucy Bronze, the veteran of so many England campaigns there. And made us a fancy little pass there. And takes it forward to Beth Mead. The Arsenal striker. 
Oh, it's... Oh, that should have been in. Beth Mean normally does better than that. That should have been in. She called for it. She's not offside. Oh, she is offside. A bit late there. The call there. She was about a foot offside there. Half a metre, maybe. Beth Mead, good challenging header there. One two there between Williamson and Stanley, was it? Here's Hemp out on the wing again. No, don't seem to be able to get their crosses in England. Walsh. Stanway. Stanway. No. What was that? Offside? Yeah, I think another offside there, or some free kick of some kind. 27 minutes gone. Yes, I'll be taking you through some of the details of the new FIFA 23 improvements uh, at the end of this match. We're going switching to... Well, the Canadians are switching from ultra-attacking to attack, attacking. Scott brings it forward. Sinclair again, who's a really useful player for the Canadian side. Good one, yep. England have got it back. Walsh. Let's see some good distribution now. She gives it to Williamson. Comes back to Bright. Here's the 1-2 there. Stanway. Walsh brings it forward. She's surely not going on her own. She's not known as much of a striker, Kira Walsh. Hemp is on the ball again. Loses it. But that's an England throw, I think. 32 minutes have gone. Switching to receive with a right stick. Daly brings it forward. White trying to. She still got it. Needs a bit of good cut, cutting pass. Here we go. Oh, good save by Sheridan there in the Canadian goal. Well, Stanley can't believe she didn't score. It was in the corner almost. But Sheridan makes a brilliant save. Corner to England. Mead is going to take it. Is it going to be a short pass? No. Becky's got away down this left wing of the Canadians. Hemp is doing her best to be. Oh, good tackle there by Hemp. I what she's doing over that side of the pitch, but never mind. Mead does some fancy footwork there. Surely this, yes. Good cross is what's needed. Get in. Rachel Daly, the left back, scores. Well done. And she does a little dance to celebrate. One nil England. Yes, she was just waiting there for the low cross there. Smack. I'm not finding the world class difficulty too difficult actually, as you get a much better game, more skill from both sets of players, both the AI and your own. Oh, Greenwood passes out that rather high there for the for herbs, but no matter if you haven't got this aplomb. Right, Rachel Daly coming forward. Coming down the left wing, unchallenged so far. Still no challenge. Good cross. Stanway scores! It's brilliant! An excellent header there from Georgia Stanway. Two nil to England before half time. Well, Serena Wiegmann will be pleased. Oh, that was excellent! Again, just right on the right position at the right time. Sheridan was nowhere near. Canada start off again. 
Playing it down the middle here between Quinn, Dunn and Sinclair. Oh, Becky has got the better of Rachel Daly that time. Hemp is coming back to cover. Chapman brings it inside with a good cross. Looking dangerous. A tackle needs to be made. Prince has it. Oh, some good footwork there. It's got to be. Yes. And it's you can't say the Canada didn't deserve that. England haven't really been able to stamp their authority on this game yet. A nice footwork. Quick turn there by Sinclair and into the corner there. Herbs didn't stand a chance. England must be wondering now, can they hang until half time and keep the score like this? In fact it is half time now. Well, I'm not sure which manager will be the happy at the break. And we chats it over with uh, Daly. We're still getting the cheers from the crowd anyway. And so quick look at the England line up there. Nobody's got any yellow cards. Everybody seems to be fit and healthy, so we'll carry on straight into the second half. Canada now kicking from left to right. Hemp's got it to Daly. Goes cross field to Lucy Bronze. Out to Beth Mead. Inside to Georgia Stanway, bringing it forward. Alan White has it. Can Stan all oh, blocked before Stanway got a chance to make the shot or pull the trigger. And again, Sinclair. She's all over the front. She's creating a up there for the England defence. Oh. But Erps collects tidily. Gives it to a central defender, Millie Bright. Greenwood goes over to the left. Seems to be... Oh. There was plenty of room there on the left if the pass had been made successfully. Oh, no. Sinclair. Erps comes out. Whew. And Sinclair, the Canadian captain, just pulls that one wide. There wasn't a lot in it either. Herb seems to want to G the team up. Comes to place the ball for a goal kick. As a substitution for the Canadians, they're bringing off Quinn and bringing on Schmidt. Fortunately, I don't know too much about this Canadian team, so I can't make any comments on the selections. Mary Earps pushes the team upfield, and of course the defenders follow with them. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know what Sinclair was doing there, but uh, really bright made it look a bit of a fool there. So here's Lucy Bronze. What can she do? Giving it to Beth Mead. Playing a 1-2, maybe lack of control there by White. Yes, I'm thinking of playing a team in the Duriacel when FIFA 23 comes out. We've got a large selection in the Duriacel. We've got a Arsenal, Aston Villa, Brighton, Hove Albion, Chelsea, Everton, Leicester, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Reading, Spurs and West Ham United. Or if you wanted to go for the French Division 1 Arcana. Stop. I think she was offside. Yes, it was marginal. She was off by hmm. one foot maybe or a thigh. On the French side, we've got uh, A.G.S. Soyo, Dijon, Lavant de Guingamp, En Avant de Guillaume, Fleury, Girondine de Bayer, Lave, Montpellier, Olympique Lyonnais, Paris, Paris Saint-Germain, 
Rodé Aveno and Stade de Rheem. So if you'd like me to be any of those teams, you can always vote for your best one down below in the comments. I'm happy to be any team other than maybe Spurs or Chelsea. Mead, oh yes, some fancy footwork there to get out of that, bit of bother. She's bringing it forward, cuts inside to Stanway. Kira Walsh brings it forward. Back to Greenwood, Walsh again. Williamson. Lucy Bronze. Beth Mead. Need something incisive here, this is looking good. Should be a goal. Oh, straight at Sheridan, the Canadian goalie. But Daly's got it back. Right, got him inside, Stanway. Come on, Mead, shoot. Oh, something went wrong with my shooting button. I didn't know whether to press B and B or just B with the time shot, but I need to sort that out. Ooh, Lucy Bruns has got this back. Yes, <laughs> the crowd like that one from the uh, veteran England defender. Can you watch again? Williamson. What, what Millie Bright's doing up there, I don't know. Out on the wing, is Hemp offside? No, no. No, it's Mead, in fact. Oh, save. And we're going to make a substitution. Jordan Nobbs is coming on for Leah Williamson. Another one of the veteran England players. Representation of her is pretty good. Here's a corner. Same for White. Tipped over the bar. Nice attempt there by Ellen White. The goalie's not too happy. She thinks maybe there should have been more of a, a challenge on the uh, attacker there. So another corner for England, for the Lionesses. It's Beth Mead. Keep figuring out where to put it. No, easily defended. But Nobbs has got it, she's given it to Georgia Stanley. Back to Beth Mead, who's trying to come past the defender. She's done that, and oh. I think she knocked the ball on too much there. And so it's a, oh, the rain looks like it's getting heavier now here at Wembley. A goal kick to Canada. 76 minutes gone, another substitution by them. Hutima is coming on for Becky. She's got some instructions for the rest of the team. There's England are going attacking again with the quick short cuts. With the D pad. Oh. Will she get that? Oh, she has. It's Buchanan. Back to Fleming. Good one, too, there. Canada are building up something here. Oh, that's out in the wing. The Lucy Bonds. Oh, Lucy Bonds swings her leg and. Uh oh. Whoa. Saved by Erps, and she did need to make that save. Yep. Agile stuff from Mary Earps there. Her representation in the game isn't that good either. Hopefully these will be all improved. I don't know if there's been face scans of the women's team, but I'm hoping they have. Because some of these are, let's be frank, a bit atrocious. That's... Oh, what's Earps done there now? Obviously looking forward to using the Hypermotion 2 technology with improved player awareness, power shots, more realism, redesigned set pieces. Here comes Fleming. Greenwood, yes, good defending there, bronze. Out to Beth Mead. Inside. Oh. Offside? Really? 
Yeah, well, it looks like she was. Yeah, we're going to get better dribbling, better AI, tactical awareness, improved impact physics, net physics, jockeying, better control of acceleration, composed ball striking, kinetic goalkeepers versus heading attackers. Bonds needs to make that challenge. She isn't, but oh. Yes, they're getting a lot more of the possession now, Canada. Thank goodness for Jordan Nobbs. Here comes Beth Mead bringing it forward. She. Oh, Beth Mead's come back to collect. What was that offside? That is a really bad representation of Beth Mead. Doesn't really look anything like that. So hopefully that will all improve. also going to get cross play you have to be on the same similar platform to play each other for instance all the next gen platforms like pc this time playstation 5 playstation x and s they'll all play on the same platform whereas xbox one and playstation 4 will play on another that's the end of the match england win 2-1 Proud are happy. There's Rachel Daly, another bad rendition of her. But look, I mean, look at Lucy Bronze and Jordan Nobbs there. They're pretty good in Georgia Stanley. They're pretty good. Serena Wigman will be happy. So we won 2 1, Podgy the Bear against the world class AI, which was Canada. I don't really know much about the uh, Ultimate Team. I don't play Ultimate Team. Uh, apparently it's going to be better online anti-cheat stuff. There are promised updates post-launch of World Cup in Qatar 2022 later this year and next year when the Women's World Cup is in Australia and New Zealand. We're also promised that. So please hit like if you like my work. Thanks for watching. Podgy signing off for now. Bye for now.